On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me three fragrance. chants. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Hi, hi, hi. So I know we've been doing a lot of Disney stuff lately, and this is, well, it's not Disney, but it's animated stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but we're going to be breaking up some of the Disney stuff because we have some really fun challenges coming for you during this 12 days of Christmas. And today, we are going to be making the Grinch in a gingerbread house with a twist. We're going to be blindfolded. I've only made a gingerbread house once and it was the most frustrating thing of my life that I've ever done. I absolutely hate it, but I thought this would look simple enough. And, uh, I don't know, if we do it blindfolded, it'll be, it'll be fun, right? It'll be fun. Maybe so, y'all's job is to watch us do it, and at the end, y'all need to comment down below Let and tell us who won. did it best, Auntie or your favorite Donna. All right, so we're going to go ahead and unbox everything before we put the blindfolds on. So, let's see what we got. This is a picture of what it's supposed to look like. Mm-hmm. We may not be doing exactly what it looks like because we will be blindfolded. All right, we have all of our pieces all laid out. We have our candies in a little bowl because we have dogs and they're probably gonna be all all around us waiting for something to drop. Which probably, probably will, will happen. happen. But it's not chocolate, so we're good. We have five minutes on the clock and whenever this starts, we're gonna go ahead and build the best Grinch house that we possibly can while we can't see. So, are we ready? Ready? Ready, set, go. I didn't think this through. I gotta take the blindfolds off. Oh! Hey! I what, said hands what? up! Hands up! What? You, you're so cheated! Alright, let's present our houses. One second. Okay, you guys. I'm gonna give you guys a closer look and you be the judge of which one's better. So here is Auntie's house. As you can see, it is standing up. It has a wall. Some pretty decorations might have fallen, but all in all, kind of a cute little Grinch house, right? And there is Donna's. Now you saw, after we were done, she kept her hands on it doing stuff. 
I don't know what you're talking about. But uh, I think she cheated because when I said hands up, she didn't leave her hands up. So, hmm. All right, you guys. You got to vote. Who's, who's is better? Mine or the Cheetah McCheetersons? Hey, I got more, I got more decorations on mine. That was not the goal. Mine is standing up. It has been standing up since we put our hands up. I didn't have to rearrange stuff when I could see. Cause she cheated. Bye guys. Bye guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video for the day. And we are now ready to open box number three of our sock advent calendar. All right, bam, bam. What number is this one? Number three. three. This is a very pretty box. <laughs> I got goofy. I don't even know what I have yet. I got goofy, y'all. I like my goofy socks. Look at them. I have like a beach chilled Mickey Mouse. So there is a close up of him. Looks like he's just chilling on the beach with the sunglasses. They're very colorful and just really, really cool style. I don't know if anything can ever top my bell socks that I got the other day, but this is pretty cool. This is so exciting. All right, so now we're gonna put our boxes back. I'm digging these socks, man. In our calendar, and we will be back tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye. Bye.